In this video, I'm going to speak about different port roles that you have in Cisco ACI Leaf switches and how you can change those port roles. I have some switches in my fabric. If I click on that fabric and go to pod one, you can see these are the switches that I have. And specifically, I'm going to click on the leaf nodes. But before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on that subscribe button. Also click on the thumbs up. That's going to help us a lot. So clicking on the leaf switch and then clicking on the interface is going to give you a visual representation of the interfaces that you have on your leaf switch. Also, in case you have connected some fixes or breakout cables, they are going to appear as well. In my case, for example, I have some fixes connected to here. And if I click on leaf 2 and go to interface tab, you can see that I already have a fix and a breakout cable, which I have connected to one of the ports here. Which port is connected to that? You can see that it says breakout of 48. Which means that I have connected a breakout cable to port 48. Now if I just go and click on this little arrow hit here, that's going to kind of break out everything that you have here. Click on one of the ports, that's going to give you a lot of information about that port. For example, you can see that I clicked on port 03 of the breakout and it says that this is part of port 148 slash 3 that is because this is a breakout cable part of 148 and then it gives us some information for example the operation is down because i have not connected to this uh, connected this to any host or any other device here the interface uh, statistics are going to appear down here and some more information which are important you can just check it there now let's say that you want to change the port role if you want to change the port role, you can click on mode. There is a drop down box here that you can click on that. And you can see there is configuration that you can click on that. And that's going to show you different roles that are assigned to each one of these uh, nodes, uh, each one of the ports, of course. On the right, there is a legend that says that, for example, layer two ports are something like khaki, layer three ports, which are there are kind of orange port channel ports are green virtual port channel ports are blue and these are the things that i have configured during my courses now what i'm going to do is to select a port or multiple core ports if i click on one of them only one of them is going to be selected by just continuing clicking then the other ports are going to be selected the thing is up here some buttons are going to appear you can see that some of the buttons are kind of uh, disabled grayed out and they can hardly be read but these that are uh, deep green they are the roles that I can assign to these ports for example right now if I click this little arrow hit here this is going to give me some information about these ports and hopefully if I go to operation that's going to tell me that these ports these two ports which I'm clicking on that again they say that they are in trunk mode now I'm going to back to configuration mode and selecting these ports. I can just click on L2, which means that I'm going to configure these as L2 ports. And just by clicking on that, that's going to give us some options down here. For example, what are the physical interfaces uh, specifics here? For example, do you want to have flow control or not? Do you want to have link debounce or not? And some specific configuration here. Uh, do you want to have a dot one uh, X authentication? Do you want to enable that? And then if you enable which one of the host modes you are going to select for that? There are different tabs here. If I click on L2, they are going to show me, for example, some other features such as MagSec. Sometimes you want to enable that CDP, LLTP and stuff like that. And on the right, of course, if you want to have this as trunk, then you can configure some other modes. If you click on VLANs, then it is going to enable you to add some VLANs for that. Uh, for example, I have already configured some VLANs in my uh, APIC, and then I can assign those VLANs to here. I'm going to cancel this out, and um, cancel this out here. And let me click on these two one more time. I click on L2. There are some other possibilities such as mobile uh, monitoring and suspension and FCOE, of course. 
Now, these are just some of the uh, things that we can do with those ports. I'm going to cancel this out and click on these two ports one more time. You can see that I can assign them to a port channel right from here. I can connect a fix to them or I can use the breakout cable to uh, use the bandwidth more efficiently because I might have multiple devices down there and they are, do not really need uh, the high speed that these ports are offering. I can just change the port speed to uh, 4 difference. For example, if this is a 40 gigabit per second port, I can just use them to have 4 10 gigabit per second port. Now let's click on some other ports. For example, this yellow one, the orange one, which is L3. If I click on that, things are going to be different. I'm going to click on these one more time because they were selected and now I am deselecting them. Now I'm going to click on one of these, which is an L3 port. And in my case, for example, right now there is no specific configuration, but there is a plus sign that says add switches. And I can click on that and add one of the switches that have been selected here. Right now, nothing is selected. But you can see that I have L3 configuration, which I can click on that. For example, I know that this port is part of a tenant and the routed network which is an L3 out. Also, I can click on this to see the profile and interface profile, which means that I can change the policies assigned to this specific interface. Also, I have some L2 configuration in case there is uh, some L2 configuration assigned to that. So I'm going to cancel this out, and let's say that I'm going to click on one of these uh, blue ports, which is a VPC. So clicking on that is going to show me the VPC configuration. So you can see that any of these ports can be selected. And when I click on them, uh, different options are going to appear up there. For example, some of these very high speed ports, which are uplink ports, as a matter of fact, uh, are going to appear as, let's say, dark green. And this dark green means that this is uplink port. When I click on one of them, I can just change them to fabric port. Let's say that I have only two spines. And you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, something like 12 uplink ports. If I have two spines only, then two of these ports are going to be utilized. Because normally I just use one port to connect a leaf to a spine. So if I have uh, two spines, then 10 of these ports are going to be uh, not used. So what can I do? I can just use them to convert them into fabric ports. So I'm going to click on this and this is going to change into fabric ports, which means that I can now connect different devices to this. So I'm going to click on submit and now the port will change to fabric port, which is going to change the color in the legend as a matter of fact. So let me check to see. So now you can see that port 49 has changed to fabric mode and I'm going to unconfigure this to disable the configuration that I already did on this port. Now one more time you can see that I can configure them as L2 or fabric port. So for different ports like I said that's going to be different configuration. So let's say that I'm going to disable this and click on this one. You can see that for example I can connect a fix to this a breakout to this, uh, make it part of a port channel, or configure this as an L2 port. So, how do you do this one more time? What you need to do is to go to Fabric, Inventory, and under the pod, select the leaf node. Then you can click on this configuration uh, under this uh, drop down box. And when you are in configuration mode, then you can select one or multiple ports just by clicking on the port and uh, if you want to have multiple ports then you click on multiple of them and then you can select one of the buttons that appear on top based on your need.